last unboxing to do. That should conclude all the unboxing. You know, video gives me more time to concentrate on perhaps doing a video on conversions. I am still thinking how to make a conversion to get a swarm lot because if we're looking for bone swords in the high firing kit they only give one just one and the particular part that holds a sword is a matter of treatment. perhaps the carn effects can be used I'm not too sure anyway here it goes carn effects plastic kit you get I love this feeling. Your base, instruction at the back on how to build the awesome looking Hanifax. Well, it's a pretty sad thing to know that this is no longer the biggest threat in the tune I mean. Um well basically they have more options. Uh, but this used to be so popular, I had a friend who owns tons of this guy. And since it's fully plastic, uh, well, you can basically magnetize everything together. It's a lot easier. I'm not saying that matter can be done, but however. Okay, so you get your weapon options. Alright, your death speeder, your. your oh, what is that called? Strangler. Something along I'm not too sure about the names of weapons as you. I have no codex yet, however, this is basically part of the weapon options. Uh, for the kind effects, you get your head options. I'm not too sure whether they make a difference. Uh, talons, more head options. You get arms, uh, a bit of a weapons choices here, I think that's a devourer. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And of course the main body of the kind effects. Legs. You get a bag. Um, I'm not too sure where does this piece goes. But this is the main portion that gives you Yep. The legs. That's all. Right. So that concludes all the unboxing of uh, Tyranid Army. If you happen to feel like collecting one, this will be everything you get. Uh, I am always, I've always been fascinated by the looks. Well, I'm a huge fan of StarCraft and. Um, always wanted to play uh, Tyranids, just didn't have a chance to, so uh, most of the stuff I matter and, uh, well, time just don't allow me to, and with this new release of all these wonderful kits, and I have more right over there, here and here, tons and tons of examples, it's going to be really exciting and really, really fun, um, so you're thinking how to convert more bone swords for the hive tyrant. Well, for those of you watching out there, if you have any idea, oh, okay, that's a photo of me and my girlfriend. Anyway, um, if you have any idea how to convert a uh, miniature. That is able to hold on to fall of this, provided that the left and the right hand, because there's four of this, and I mean I can just basically cast one of this and I get two two of the right sides done, but the left side. Imposes some challenge unless 
I'm able to use one of this and attach it this way uh, and basically convert this portion into a sort with plastic cut. That's one of my initial idea and uh, basically to change this entire ball here into uh, perhaps a ball manac and to even place a piece of matter perhaps into one of the sides of the shoulders here such that uh, you can basically change the weapon options you can change between a hive tyrant to a swarm lot well that's just a bit of my idea here not too sure if it'll work, I'm not too sure if I've ever or tamp it or you know what if GW decided to come up with a Swarm Lock model um, that'd be awesome um, so anyway join the discussion and uh, feel free to let me know if you have any idea on how you can actually convert and uh, create a Swarm Lock with plastic cards with any of these copying and stuff uh, make a video of it, post response, command um, subscribe if you want to and once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.